Shadow came to talk about the Jacob Blake shooting. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because, um, man, they even canceled NBA, and I'm an NBA fanatic, you know what I mean? And ain't no more playoff games because, you know, they feel a certain way uh, about this. So, you know, like, this is something that's important that a lot of people, you know, like, um, see it, you know, it, it affects them. So I, I wanted to give my take on it. Uh, before I give my take on it, though, um, uh, first hear me out. Um, and if anything, if you, you want, you can state your state your case, and we could, we could debate about it and, and stuff like that. But it, but at least um, have an open mind and um, and see it from from these angles, and hear me out. And then if you disagree, we could debate about it and everything like that. Now. My take on it here is, um, is both sides' fault, and I'm gonna give my reasons. I'm not just gonna say it's both sides. I I'm gonna give my reasons, and I'll even play the video. You know, and we'll go about it uh, that way to show why it's both sides' fault. Um, see, as of lately, it's been both sides' fault, but no, nobody wants to ever take responsibilities for their actions, so they just want to blame the other side and, and, and just at, leave it at that, and it's like, nah, both sides have been wrong, but everybody thinks that their side is right, when in reality, both sides are wrong, you know what I mean? Um, I, I could only tell the truth, I only just spit it how, how I see it, and, you know, and, you know, I, I get all the facts first. I'm not one of those that starts talking before knowing the fact. You got to know all the facts. You can't talk and give your opinion without knowing the facts first. That's why I haven't said anything uh, about this shooting. Or nothing. I was gathering the information. I'm one that likes to have all the facts in front of me, laced out, whatever, and before I give my opinion and shit. Because it's so easy to fucking talk without knowing. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know gotta educate yourselves you know about these kind of scenarios especially shit that just like be popping off in the streets and everything like that leading up to all of this like you're over here fucking doing all this uh madness without even not without even knowing like you know what's going on so and it's crazy though because i really dislike the republican party i really dislike the president um but i also dislike the democrats and i also dislike joe biden but man, these people, these Democrats have been having me out here, uh, seeming like I'm Republican the way I be defending them. <laughs> That's only because uh, they've been pushing a whole lot of bullshit of lately that you know I could, like I said I could only tell it how it is and nah, I mean I can't gotta gotta come and speak the truth. But you Republicans don't think that is because I'm defending you because y'all full of shit too, homie. So I'm just stating that now. The reason I say is, here's the facts. We're not going to say that, oh, he had a prior record and and, and 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 he had warrants out for his arrest. And No, we're not going to say none of that because um, the cops, when they rolled up, they didn't even know who this man was. So all of that shit is irrelevant. His record that he had, because he had a warrant out for his arrest and he has a record and, and you know and everything like that. But that's irrelevant. That doesn't even matter, so you don't even get to bring that up because these mother uh, the cops didn't even know this motherfucker. You know what I mean? So you don't get to bring that bring that up. That's irrelevant. Now, what they did know showing up is that uh, there was a domestic violence. Right? He was arguing with this girl. Uh, they called the cops and said that the you know there was a domestic dispute. Uh, so already you know they had the description because obviously you know they call it in you know a male black i mean black female you know whatever so when they rolled up uh they already knew you know what they're looking for it's a domestic call and it's a black chick and a black dude so you already know when they rolled up and you guys are still arguing and, and you, you guys are the description that they called in and everything like that my boy Right there, you're being detained, homie. So you got to let the cops do your job because they already called it in and everything like that. And you are disputing out there, so you can't even say that they lying. So why didn't you let yourself uh, get arrested? I have no idea, bro. I have no idea. You know what I mean? I've been arrested plenty of times. I'm a gang member, so you know what I mean? And 
you know, like, when they come, you gotta, you let them do the thing, homie. You act a fool, I mean, she, she's gonna crack off, but, like I said, I'm not here to, I say it's both sides' fault, so, I'm gonna get to the cops, so, be patient, people, be patient. Um, so, I don't know why the fuck you didn't let them, um, arrest you and do your job. Now, two, he had a knife. He had a knife. People can't say that, oh, that's fabricated, that's a lie. No, he didn't have no pistol. He didn't have no AK, no, no. But he had a knife. You know what I mean? Now, here's another thing that people are leaving out. This is crucial. And people are leaving this out. Now, cops are trained. Uh, in, in, in different ways of knowing the field. Um, they're taught about drugs. What side effects drugs give. And how someone is when they're on drugs. Okay? So they understand that, that scenario very well. Good. Um, they used a taser on him. Fucking tasers didn't even fucking tasers didn't even taser didn't even tickle the motherfucker, dog. A taser didn't tickle someone. When a taser don't tickle somebody, these fools already know he's either on PCP, he's either on steroids. Or he's on um, some kind of uh, uh, crack cocaine. You know what I mean? Like something that um, hits the uh, the nervous system. You know what I mean? That's why when they hit you with the taser gun, uh, you don't feel it. You know what I mean? Because it just like amplifies your fucking nervous system. It just has it going haywire. That's why you see them like twitching or or you know like all, or all that shit. You know what I mean? So a taser. That's supposed to uh, uh, um, attack that. It's, it's, it's not going to do nothing. So these fools know. Okay. This ain't right. Fucking taser's not working. Already right there off the bat. You already know your batons ain't going to work. And your pepper spray ain't going to work. You know. From the training. It already shows. None of that shit. If the taser didn't work. Okay. This fool's on something. These shits ain't going to work. That's a fact. You know what I mean? And I should know. Because I was on, on those drugs before. And. And you know, like we 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 know we we know that life. You know what I mean? So y'all ain't gonna tell me that. Yeah, I know that shit would have nah 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 nah. If you never fucking been in that world, yo, I don't get to say shit, homie. We know what's up. So nah, homie, y'all don't get to talk. All right, that shit wouldn't even tickle the motherfucker. Now I'm gonna play the video, you know, and we'll take it from there. Now. Disturbing graphics, you know, for anybody out there, you know. Now. Look, the taser's on that fool. Look at that fool like nothing. Look at that. He look like nothing. Now, watch it. Right there. That's what I want to show. Who the fuck do you know gets in their car like that? Who do you know that gets in their car like that? Hmm? Look at that. He look how he's leaning in for. What is he grabbing? What is he reaching for? No one gets in the car like that, my boy. I don't care what you say, dog. Ain't no one getting in their whip like that, homie. You know what I mean, bro? What the fuck were you thinking, homie? What, what did you expect to happen? And everyone right now that be uh uh routing up and everything like that. I mean, at the end of the day, don't act like the man's a saint. Look at this. His actions led up to this. You ain't gonna tell me that. Someone gets in their whip like that. You know what I mean? So for everyone to be acting like, oh my God, they literally just shot this innocent, poor saint of a man or whatever. Like, come on now. He didn't let them arrest him. He didn't, you know, he had a knife. Fucking taser's not even working. So, so he was probably under control substance. And look how he's getting in. And nah, don't, you ain't gonna use that. Oh, what, well, cause he's black, he had to be on drugs. Nah, 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 cause I'm a gang member from the streets and everything like that. And I ain't no Republican, I ain't no Democrat or, 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 or none of that, homie. You know what I mean? And I've been under all those drugs and everything. You ain't gonna tell me, homie. Alright? So I know, I know what, I know for what it is, homie. I'm spitting out the facts, the truth, laying it on here. You know what I mean? Uh, look, most of these moves, 
especially because these basketball players and these celebrities get behind it, whatever. These are all political moves. I'm going to tell you why they're political moves. Because they want to they wanna make it seem like Donald Trump is boosting up the racism and, 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 and for all the stupid rhetoric he says and, and the way he's, and the narrative he pushes and everything like that, that he made this country hateful and racist and why shit be cracking like this. You know, the motherfucker's a fucking idiot, does a lot of shit that's fucking wrong, but let's not blame everything on him. You know what I mean? Like, nah, homie, we were fucking up before that motherfucker got there in office and we'd be probably fucking up after. So, stop. Stop with these fucking political moves. Seriously, because that shit, that shit's getting old with all that bullshit that you guys are pulling. Seriously. Now, for those who have been waiting, if, if you even lasted this long, <laughs> um... Because I know when people start don't hear it the way they want to hear it. Like, oh, man, fuck this. They don't even want to stick their argument. They want to just leave and cry. Like, be an adult. Debate about it. You know? Shit, you might win. You might get me on board on, on your side. But at least state your case. Okay. Now. The cops turn. The cops ain't innocent here. I'm going to tell you why the cops ain't innocent here. We'll see right now. And the fucking shit be slow like a motherfucker. Because he had kids in the backseat of that car. You know what I mean? I mean, look, the guy's reaching the cop right there. He didn't even know, like, fuck. He could have been grabbing anything, homie. <laughs> That's what I mean. Okay. Why don't we just stop it right there, because... You know, after that, they just pretty much shoot him. Cops training sucks dick. You know what I mean? Now is the cops' turn. The reason why is your fault. You're... I don't know what made you think that it's okay to unload your whole entire clip on this man. Or why there's no proper training on when shit like this happens. Why did, Why couldn't you go for the leg, the arm? You know damn well he was going to feel it. Especially with the kind of caliber that you have at, at that close range. If you let off at the arm or the leg. You know or, or, or somewhere where, where it won't um, severely, in, uh, severely like leave him in critical condition and stuff like that. Why, did, why do you guys feel like you have to unload your whole entire magazine on that guy. The whole entire clip. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing that you can tell me that would justify you unloading your whole entire fucking clip on this man. That is fucking... That is ridiculous. You know what I mean? If anything, shit, you should be tried for murder. But not because you shot the man because he did something illegal. The reason you should be charged for murder is for the amount of bullets that you put in that guy. That is the reason why you should be charged. Kind of like you have the right to bear arms. And if somebody breaks into your home, you you know, you let. But there's, see, you got to do your homework. There's a certain amount of rounds that you can unload on somebody. And how you unload on that fool. They're going to look at that and the autopsy and everything like that. And shit. Yeah, he was in your home. But you might end up getting arrested for murder, homie. You, I bet you guys don't know that, huh? You got to do your homework. You can't just fucking... That fool walks into your cantona and you just rah, like Rambo, nah. You know? Now, the. So, yeah, that's the reason why I feel that you guys fucked up. You know, there's not no proper training right here. Uh, uh, so many rounds, it's, it's uncalled for. It is fucking ridiculous. So, don't be. We can't even be upset that everybody's uh, routed up the way that they are. You know what I mean? Because you guys are not properly fucking trained and don't use your common sense of why to unload so many fucking rounds in this person and why not. Okay, he's reaching in. You know, he's still got to reach in, pull it out. Still probably got to cock it and aim it. You have all this time. You could have just hit him in the damn arm. Blew his blew his arm. His leg. You fucking unload seven. Right? You know, because the kids could have got hit, her. You could have killed the fucking poor man. I know he's paralyzed, you know, and everything like that. But So come on, man. Use your common sense. 
So then when people are over here like, why are they making this a big deal? Why are they complaining and everything like that? They're complaining and all of that because these motherfuckers unloaded so many goddamn rounds. And even though, yes, he did. And don't bring up his record and everything like that because none of those facts were known right here in this scenario that's playing off. We only get to use this scenario. Y'all don't get to bring up all this shit. It didn't even fucking know until later. Nah, I mean, we're talking about just this. So there's no reason for you to unload so many rounds on that motherfucker. So that's why people are mad. For those who want to be out there thinking that oh, dude, they're making it a big deal or not thinking, nah, 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 shut the fuck up. You you know, there's all these different things that they could have done, but nah, they wanted to unload a whole fucking all those rounds on that fool. So that's where they fuck up. So at the end of the day, my conclusion is both sides are to blame for this shit. Nobody's right. The people should come and be like, you know, we apologizing for for writing. Uh, homie fucked up, you know. He, you know, he should have just let himself get arrested. Cops should have been like, well, you know what? Yeah, we fucked up too because we're not properly trained for this, and we shouldn't have unloaded so many rounds. And and you know, I'm sorry. And then the other side, oh, I'm sorry. How can we fix this problem? Well, let's sit down right here, uh, maybe, and then talk about it, and, 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 like like civil adults, and and work something out. Both sides apologize for their flaws because both sides made them. And that's how we go about it. We both say sorry. And we go about uh, fixing the problem. But no. Nobody's going to want to say sorry. Why should I say sorry? I'm not wrong. Neither am I. Fucking little kids. Grow the fuck up already. I just say. MC Shadow. That's my opinion.